Hello everyone, you're watching Palisades Today. I'm Juliette Lamar and in the news this week, Janice Crystal joins the environmental campaign for resilient Palisades and Los Angeles City could face a lawsuit if it approves hero pay for grocers. So stay tuned. But first I want to tell you all about our sponsor, Santa Monica College with more than 90 fields of study, is a leader among California's community colleges in transferring students. This is seat for you at Santa Monica College, so find your classes today. Our top story, a 3rd Street Promenade property owner is calling on Santa Monica officials to deal with the issue of homeless individuals sleeping and defecating in public elevators and stairways on the promenade. We have the full story right here. I'll be right back with your local news after this. And now for what's happening in your neighborhood. Former Honorary Mayor Janice Crystal has joined the environmental campaign team with Resilient Palisades, which is an organization addressing environmental issues through education and community outreach. Resilient Palisades welcomes Janice and will be having the group's first event of 2021 on February 2nd. One of the top issues to be discussed at the meeting will be the harmful effects of gas-powered leaf blowers. The City of Los Angeles could face a lawsuit from the California Grocers Association if it approves hero pay. A $5 increase in hourly wages for grocery store workers and drug trail employees working for publicly traded companies during the pandemic. Just last week, the California Grocers Association filed a lawsuit against the City of Long Beach for a similar hero pay ordinance, stating that the new ordinance illegally interferes with the collective bargaining process protected by the Federal National Labor Regulations Act, and it singles out other certain companies while ignoring groups that could employ essential frontline workers as well. Los Angeles City officials are aware of the lawsuit filed against Long Beach and are considering the arguments made in the lawsuit while formulating recommendations for any similar such mandate. Well, that's all the news that we have for you today. Thank you all so much for tuning in. I'm Julia Lamar and you take care.